Headline news for Monday, April 18th from the Westchester County Business Journal, Fairfield County Business Journal, and westfaironline.com. Peter Katz reporting. Russia said this morning it hit hundreds of targets in Ukraine overnight. Russia claims it is on the verge of capturing the beleaguered city of Mariupol. The UN reports more than 4 million Ukrainians have fled the country, with more than 2.7 million taking refuge in Poland. The Biden administration was expected today to issue a requirement that materials such as pipes and steel beams used on projects paid for by the Infrastructure Act be manufactured in the USA. Text messages obtained by the House Committee investigating the January 6th attempted coup reveal that Utah's Republican Senator Mike Lee and Texas Republican Congressman Chip Roy were pushing schemes to overturn the 2020 election as early as the day after Election Day. Both were communicating with White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows about keeping Trump in power. InfoWars, the company run by the extreme right-wing personality Alex Jones, has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. In the bankruptcy filing in Texas, it says it has assets of $50,000 or less and possible liabilities of $10 million due to lawsuits it is facing. A recently filed lawsuit against Jones accused him of hiding millions in assets. Poughkeepsie is reviewing a proposal to convert a factory building at 15 North Cherry Street into a 42-unit residential complex. The building at one time had been home to a shoe and boot manufacturer and then was used by the Consolidated Cigar Company. New York Governor Kathy Hochul on Good Friday was in Mount Vernon to announce a $150 million plan to fix Mount Vernon's sewer and water infrastructure in a partnership with Westchester County and the city. Stay in touch with the Westchester County Business Journal, Fairfield County Business Journal, and westfaironline.com.